guys. Uh, today, I was just gonna post a video of me just chatting and cutting up some dandelions. Now, most people see dandelions as weeds that are kind of annoying, but with my mom, a few years back, found this awesome recipe for a jam that basically tastes like honey. And what you do is you just cut off the yellow leaves of them, they throw the pods away, and they make a really good jam. And I love it. It's like one of my favorite jams. It's kind of hard to, for people to get their head around dandelion jam because it's just a flower that everybody cuts up whenever they're growing, but makes a great jam. So, just drop that one. It may, it's always a crowd pleaser, and it, we sell a bunch of it. I'm trying to. I don't know how it, my summer plans will affect, be affected with the new restrictions of like traveling and stuff, but I was planning on doing some jelly sales over the summer to get a bit of cash rolling for myself because I'm currently unemployed. I was a little bit late to getting my driver's license and I still don't have it. I found my driver's permit for over six months, but the coronavirus hit and I am I can't I think I'm pretty sure all the licensing depots are down so there's no way for me to get my license yet but whenever they open up I'll definitely go and take it but because of me not driving I have never been able to get a job and jelly's pretty easy to make and back whenever I had my mom and dad had my little sister Charlotte she had a lot of medical problems a lot of medical procedures like off and on I think throughout her whole life she probably had around I don't I don't remember it was over 30 uh, surgeries in like a four year period the mom or dad had to be at home had to be a stay-at-home parent for a while and my dad chose to take up that mantle bless his heart and it was kind of hard to make make ends meet with just one paycheck. So what my dad started doing, well, we already sold jelly at the farmer's market for a while, but my dad started selling, selling it a lot more at like a bigger quantity. Probably bringing around like, around like 60 jars. And probably selling over half of it. I mean, they had a good business going and as soon as and they didn't really have to do that, have the stay at home parent no more because Charlotte was old enough to do daycares. And so uh, we went back to our old ways. But I always thought that was a really good way of making money. And I grew up helping my mom and dad sell. And I became a pretty good salesman because of it. I don't know if I still am a good salesman because I haven't done jelly sales in a long time. But I hope I am. But... We made many, we, we experimented with many jams. Like, I think one year we made a pear jam for a little while, and that was pretty good. It's not that memorable. I'm sure if we make it again, it'll probably be good, but I'm probably not gonna make it for my first few rounds at the farmer's market. I think my first few are gonna be probably strawberry, which is just a classic. Everybody loves strawberry. Some sort of berry, like raspberry, uh, blackberry or blueberry um, and probably dandelion and I'll probably have to think of one more to do but I mean jelly is like the easiest thing to make and you can make a massive you can make massive profit from it so that's why I love making it uh, but how you make how you make dandelions into jelly is you Cut off all these leaves, then you soak it in boiling water for around a day. Probably a full span of like 12 hours, or if you want to make it real strong, 24. And the stronger it is, just make the jelly better. And so, uh, we made we actually made a batch last week, but whenever we were turning the the tea into jam. My mom added the, sh the pec, I think he, she added the sugar before the pectin and 
it messed it up and it just turned into syrup. It didn't turn into jam because you're supposed to put the pectin in first and the sugar activates the pectin. But she did the opposite and it didn't work. But my brother, my brother and sister went and got me some dandelions and I'm going to make some tea of it today. And then I think tomorrow I'll be able to make the jam the right way. Um, and then I'll just keep stocking up. I think this year we're wanting to plant uh, tomatoes, peas, um, carrots, uh, strawberries, and something else. But it's going to be pretty good. We haven't really been successful with the whole gardens for a while. I thought I would try to revive our garden because my grandpa and grandma from my mom's side had uh, both very good green thumbs. They were excellent at farming. And so hopefully that trait carries down to my generation, me, Maggie, and Quincy. I, I think farming is a cool trait to be able to do, especially in times like this where you're not going to be able to get all the vegetables that you want and being able to have a backup of a bunch of tomatoes in the garden is a very vital source of food nowadays. Um, my mom loves canning stuff. She cans pretty much everything she can. I think right now we have a, we have a bunch of turkey broth and a little bit of chicken broth in the garage as well as some, we have a lot of fruit cocktails, which is just like grapes, pears, cherries, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and we also have just a bunch of jams because this family loves peanut butter and jelly. It's like one of my favorite cheat day items to eat. It doesn't sound like a cheat item, cheat day item, but that thing is full of carbs and is one of the best things I can eat. Um, but yeah, once we get all those tomatoes grown, we'll be able to harvest them and just can them. And then whenever we want a pasta night and we don't have any pasta or pa pasta sauce, we can just pull some pasta sauce. I think we actually have some pasta sauce made in there as well as some pizza sauce, which my mom makes some really good pizza sauce. I'm not gonna get a recipe out because that recipe is mine and mine only, but it is freaking awesome. I had a good breakfast this morning. I made this really soft scrambled eggs. I learned to make them from Gordon Ramsay. I make the Gordon Ramsay style where you add some cream and never stop mixing the eggs. It makes it real pretty and smooth and rich. And I added some onions in there. And then I had a side of bacon. I didn't finish it all though because I'm not really hungry lately. I remember the first time I did the arms workout last week. I couldn't, my arms just recovered today and I was probably about a five days later. I mean, my arms were so sore for so long. I wish I could pitch you for longer, but I gotta get, I gotta keep doing this dandelion stuff. We're almost done. We're about, we only got like a quarter of the basket left. Come on, go. Come on, go bother dad. I love that dog. I had a, back when we lived in Jeff City, around sixth grade when we moved over, I lost my dog. I don't even know what it was. It happened so fast. His name was Shrek. He was like one of the best dogs ever. I just didn't know it at the time. And we got Lola a few years back, probably two or three. And she's just been like the best dog I've ever asked for. She's so obedient. She loves to cuddle and just love that dog so much. Whenever we moved to this house, we had these we had this cat named Sunshine, and whenever, as soon as we moved, she mated and had 
three babies. One of them ran away because it was a boy. It just ran. I think his name was Luna. He ran away. I renamed the cats that we have now because there's only three left. And I'm trying to keep them safe. But lately, there's been this stray cat that's just been causing trouble. I mean, he eats food and then he gets hissed at. I need to figure out a way to get that stray cat out of here because that's causing some issues around here. Well, I don't got that many dandelions left, but to be honest, it's just been really nice just talking. I don't really think of there's anything else for me to talk about. I'm pretty much done with this. Whenever I'm done with all these, I'll, here, I'll show you. I mean, I'm covered in dandelion leaves, but to show you what we got, <sighs> we got these dandelion leaves, these dandelion, dandelion petals that we'll have, we'll pour boiling water over, put a cap on it, shake it, and then probably not leave it outside here because there's like no sunlight out. It's pretty cloudy today, but we're probably just, we're just gonna let it sit for like 12 to 24 hours to get a real good steep on it to make sure that the, the, dandelion, tea, the dandelion jam is really strong. I hope you guys did enjoy this little live stream. Tell me if you guys want more of these outside live streams. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.